ಎಂದೆಂದು ನಿನ್ನನು ಮರೆತು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಶಾರ್ಟ್ ಮೆಸ್ಸೇಜ್ ಸೋ ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಎಂದೆಂದು ನಿನ್ನನು ಮರೆತು ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ಸ್ಟೋರಿ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ಫಿನ್ಲೆಂಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಮೀಕೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಮೀಕೋ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟೂ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಮೀಕೋ and deco okay miko and deco deco is the elder brother miko is the younger brother now this family is extremely interesting extremely creative in the way that they go about why you will know as the story goes by the farmer he calls his two sons and he says you know it's time that you both get married so we will go with what the family has followed until now we will be following the tradition so in order for you to get married what you have to do is go chop down a tree by your bare hands and wherever the tree falls and points to in that direction you have to walk until you find a sweetheart for you to get married simple all right Miko and Deko both understand. Now Deko, very clever the elder brother is. And uh, what he does is he knows how to cut the tree. And he knows where he already has a girlfriend. So he plans to cut the tree in such a way that it points to his girlfriend's house. Now, Deko, I mean Miko, on the other hand, he doesn't, he's like, he's his girlfriend. start chopping normally and he goes on about his chopping of the tree deco finishes deco points to the tree points to the place and uh, miko cuts and the tree falls and it points to a forest deco laughs at miko what are you going to find some fox or some uh, rats whatever it is like yeah you mind your own business uh, deco let me mind my own so off they go now and they go deco returns home with uh, telling that he has found a person for himself that is his girlfriend whoever was there now miko what he does is he's going into the forest he doesn't find anybody finally he goes uh to this one haunted house and he goes inside he's like there's nobody there slowly he hears some sound like who's talking the sound gets louder so he takes out a imaginary microscope and he sees like what who is it like yeah okay the mouse there's the mouse who's speaking yes little mouse the mouse is a girl and she says why have you come here human why have you come here so he explains you know my father wants me to get married and there's this tradition tree falls down points and whomever i find first whoever agrees to me to get married and i have to get married to them that's the family tradition and i have a brother and uh, he also has to do it listening to this the little mouse is extremely happy she says you know miko um uh, i can get married to you if that's not a problem he'll starts laughing like what are you saying like like see you can feel my uh the back it's all of soft fur that is there and i'll be the best wife that you will ever have please you can get married to me please miko miko actually takes a uh, while to think and he's like okay um i haven't found anybody and you seem nice also so all right so little mouse is really happy so are we going to get married today she asks like not not yet and he goes back home now 
Deco by that time has already explained that he has found his sweetheart and Deco asks uh, uh, what have you found a mouse in the forest or what Miko Miko says no 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 not at all he doesn't want to reveal anything because he knows how they are going to behave now the father the farmer speaks he says good both of you have found your better halves but there are more challenges to be done so please do this go to your better halves and tell your better halves to spin a cloth okay and get that cloth to me so off you go so miko and diko go diko goes tells his sweetheart to spin a yard cloth and miko goes he says fully sad completely sad he doesn't know what to do he says uh, he says oh my god he says i'm very sad little mouse he says why says my father the farmer has told to spin a yard of the cloth i'm already tired i don't know what to do i don't think so this is going to happen she says don't worry about it you just sleep i will take care of it and as he goes down to sleep she sings this song to him endendu nennanu marathu badukiralare endendu nennanu agali naniralare ondu kshana nondaruni na taalalare so she singing this and he goes to sleep as he goes to sleep the little mouse start speaking and hundreds of mice gather in front of her she says chop chop we need to start spinning the cloth and they start they start with the string they start with the thread a set of so different departments are set in this one who gets the thread one who weaves one who spins the wheel imagine the gandhi uh, wheel to spin a cloth yeah imagine a set of mice there who's handling that and a set of mice whose responsibility is to get the thread so there is equal distribution and by the time miko wakes up from the sleep the cloth is already spun and put into a nut and given to him and he just wakes up the little mouse says baby baby you are late please go please go your father might be worried please take this this is done sees this gets more sad remember miko has not seen his completely slept and says are we going to get married sweetheart today asks the mouse like not yet not yet sweetheart not yet and miko goes now miko and diko both are standing in front of the farmer farmer says all right bring me the cloth that has been done diko gives the cloth and father examines the farmer the farmer examines the cloth is like all right good enough good enough good enough uh the thing is proper all right good good gives the cloth says give me yours gives a nut like all right opens the nut and slowly there's a thread and slowly he there's a cloth and he just takes up the cloth and it comes out and it's coming it's like those magical cloth uh, you know that magic trick where the cloth keeps coming out so it was like that it's like coming out coming out completely and by the time he comes out of the thing it's like completely there it's like whoa and he sees examines it's perfect like oh my god miko you are a very lucky man all right good for both of you now both of you get ready to be getting married tomorrow so please get your better half so the marriage is set so miko goes and he tells uh, we are going to get married tomorrow now miko is very sad that everybody is going to laugh and uh, little mouse she says you know miko please don't be so sad on the day of the wedding if you don't want this we will not do this others being sad others being however they want to be that is fine but if you are going to be uh, feeling this we cannot do this so miko says all right no i love you and i will support you till the end of time all right let's do this let's go and miko takes the my uh, little mouse and little mouse says no miko relax and 
ಎಂದೆಂದು ನಿನ್ನನು ಮರೆತು ಬದುಕಿರಲಾರೆ ಸೊ ಅಸ್ ಸೂನ್ ಆಸ್ ಶಿ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಸಿಂಗಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಾಂಗ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈಸ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದಸ್ ಅ ಚಾರಿಯಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ರೆಡಿ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಮೈಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ರೆಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದಸ್ ದಸ್ ಅನದ ಮೈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಹಂಟರ್ ಹೂಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದ ಅದರ್ ಮೈಸ್ ಬೇಸಿಕಲಿ ಅ ಚಾರಿಯಟ್ ಫಿಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಶಿ ಸೆಸ್ ವೋಂಟ್ ಯು ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮೀ ಡಾರ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಬೋತ್ ಆಫ್ ದಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಚಾರಿಯಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಬೋತ್ go towards the wedding now you have to realize the wedding is already going on of deco everybody is there there's a huge party and as soon as he goes there everybody stops everybody silent you know those awkward silences yeah the, that's the awkward silences that miko and the little mice were in deco sees this is gone crazy He's like what are you going what are you do are you mad and he starts laughing but then he gets really angry and he just slaps off the mice everybody onto the uh, stream of river that they are getting married right next to and the little mouse and all the other mice that were there they are just drowning in the river miko screams in pain like are you mad i love that mice is like it's the it's a damn mouse like i don't care i love that mice and 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 he he's go he's going to save her deco holds him he's like no no you're not going to go that mice deserves to die like no no i love that mice so conflict is going on and slowly both of them are fighting over in the side and there are people here they are observing some magic the mice that were already there drowning they turn into the most beautiful horses the most beautiful chariot and the most beautiful lady comes out in the chariot along with all the other mice turned into people and they come in and she's soaking wet and she's the most beautiful lady ever she's she's screaming of royalty loyalty from her existence and she explains you know i was enchanted by a witch to be turned into a mice along with my other kingdom and i would only be turned into myself that is the royalty that i am only when there is a brother who would want to marry me in his free will and there has to be another brother who would want to kill me so at the moment when the brother wanted to kill me and you said you love me no matter what the witch's magic broke and i turned into this so darling will you marry me she says so both of them get married and it's a joyous occasion everybody's jealous of um, uh miko's uh, uh new found love and uh miko and the little mouse are really happy are really happy and they are completely in love and they happily live ever after and uh, when miko has sons this tradition is still going to follow so this has been episode 33 and then the ninnanu maretu the princess mouse a tale of finland i will see you in the next house everybody everybody see you see you see you see you see you see